G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Sturmyoga here again with a replay in the M41 Walker Bulldog, the tier 7 American light tank. Uh, what's different about the light? this light tank from other light tanks? Well, it's got a 10 round 76mm autoloader, so it does about 150 um, damage per hit, which is quite nice, so it gives it a clip potential of 1500. Um, it does take you a bit, um, I think it takes you 18 seconds to unload the clip, so you're not really going to be doing that over, well, you're not going to empty that clip in one lot. It's more like you're going to be emptying two or three shots here, three or, th three or, th or four shots there. It's not that sort of, it's not like the um, AMX 100 and AMX 120 and AMX 50B. It's not like those. This is more of a harasser tank, and it's just, it is very good like that. Um... Uh, gun depression is decent at about six degrees, or is it eight? De I think it might be eight. De it might be eight degrees. I'm not hundred percent certain. I have to check that in the notes and put that in the, the caption afterwards. Uh, the tank I quite like. It's it's a little bit sluggish to start off, but it does it does um quite well. I'll start the replay now. Um, in a tier nine match, so about average for what it is. It's the it's the middle tier, so. Um, for those who don't know, scout matchmaking basically makes you count as a medium tank of a tier higher. So basically, this is matched as a tier eight medium tank. So tier eight, tier eight games are nice to play. In fact, it's uh, very effective in tier eight games since the armor of uh, are quite quite average. Well, compared to what you see in tier nine and ten. So. Also, the reload on this, uh, the gun does take a little while to reload. I just noticed in this replay that I can't see um, the reload timer. It's about 30 to 40 seconds though, and that's without that's without using um, food consumable. Uh, I do recommend when you have a premium account using food because it does decrease the uh, reload speed by just that little bit much, and also the aim time. It, pretty much everything about the tank is just, um, is just better. So I don't know what. I, I, looking back at this, I don't know why I'm in this bush. It's not a very good spot at all. Um, the only thing I'm useful, is I'm doing that's useful from this bush is basically I'm sitting in a position where I can rush up to ambush, but. Other than that, I'm not doing anything worthwhile in this game. I, I find this tank sometimes quite hard to play on certain maps, like this map. I, I, I'm not a fan of this map, mainly because I, I hardly ever seem to get it. I mean, this is the first time in months I've seen this map, and I'm not, and I'm not kidding. I mean, I, half the time I see more um, Sand River, El Halouf, um, Steps, Stalingrad. I see Stalingrad almost every day, every other battle. It's ridiculous. Um, I've seen Overlord maybe four times. I hate Overlord though. I think it's an awful map. It's pretty, but it's just it's just the just the yeah, just the, yeah I don't like it. Enemy so this is what hit. you can do. I suspect in tanks. He's not even broken because he's noticed up there. Um, but we're hide we're we're gonna hide now. So that'd be silly. We take a silly hit from the A time mission. Let's find another target. Although we have done 615 damage, which is quite nice. Used half our shells. Target acquired. Take a little bit from the uh, T29. So this is not, as you can see, this is not shaping up to be a good battle. But um, you will be surprised about what happens. Ow, you can see the penetration on the side of my um. Tara, that looks that looks quite nasty. Um, so yeah, we're reloading, and we've decided to get the hell out of there. There's no point hanging around because we're going to get overrun there. Um, not sure what I'm doing here. It's been a while since I played this game. I kind of lost it, and then I went. I wonder if I can find that replay again, and then I found it finally. I do enjoy this um this tank. It's a good it's a good bit of fun to play play it. It sort of teaches you, well I hope it teaches you for future um, clip tanks such as the 5100 and stuff like that. Although the problem is it's not the same type of tank, this is 
the flanker and stuff like that, or is the um, 5100 and whatnot, is all a. Uh, they're all opportunist tanks. You just pop in when you see an opportunity and unload and then bugger off again. So here we found two Tiger 2s. And this is what you can do, you can just unload. Two, three on damage. You can just, you can just do that with this tank, it's just... And this is why it's deadly in tier 8 games, because half the heavy tanks in the game are your clip potential. So if you get behind them, and just start unloading on them, you can really wreck some of them. But listen, this guy's a one shot for me, so is his friend. So my first one is coming, finish him off, which we do. But someone else destroys the other time too. We didn't even scratch them. Okay, let's pop we get the hell out of there if we finish the shots. There's a big tank this light tank as well, because look at, the, look at that, let's see how it's pattern. We're only a little bit thinner, and a tiny bit shorter than it. It's, it's a decent sized tank. It's a, uh, yeah. So it hasn't got the best camo, uh, unfortunately, so it's not a good passive, it's not a good um, passive spot on You can do it, but it's just... You gotta, you gotta be very careful. So, just gotta watch yourself. So, we're about to find this Yag Tiger. And again, we can just do this. So, I'll just leave this. Um, yes, I'm currently, I'm currently uh, as you may see from the title, I'm actually trying to chase uh, LT15 for the uh, for the stool because I don't really care about the stool. I don't want it. I just want the female crew member so I can put it in my future T54 and T62A uh, crew. Um, I've got all the other ones, just haven't got this one. It's really annoying because I just can't get the. I just can't get it. Like I've been. I've been missing it by like 10 damage. Literally, you've got to get 4k combined spotting and personal damage. You didn't, you wouldn't think that's hard, but I can do it in any other tank. Um, except for light tanks. Like, 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 before, before I did this record, I decided to jump on my pattern. I just, I did three games and they were all for over 4k damage. How, 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 it's just, oh. So frustrating. I mean, oh, I don't know. So yeah, we've done twi we've done three five hundred damage. I want to do more. I'm, I'm actually not capping purposely because I want to try and farm, which is why I'm actually hoping that these guys get down there quickly enough and start stopping the cap. But it's just not going to happen. Unfortunately, our game is going to come to an end. Target acquired. Get one shot. Ready to fire. Enemy armor is hit. And that's it. That's the game. So we end up with about 2,835 damage. And uh, we've only taken two hits. Uh, yeah, good game all up. Uh, I'll try, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the post-game stats and we'll see if we go there. And as you can see, this was a victory. Um, only a second class mastery. Um, 26,962 26, credits. And 5,295 5, XP. This was a times 5 event, so that's why we got so much XP. We did a fair bit of damage to 5 enemy tanks. Um, not killing any, but we did a fair, fair amount of damage. Actually, no, we killed 2. Sorry, we killed 2. And, uh, yeah, we ended up on top of XP. Almost on damage as well. Um, this Yag Tiger had a decent game, um, <coughs> pardon me, uh, I've, got a, I've got a cold, if you hadn't realised, um, which is a bit odd for being Australian, being in Australia and I'm getting a cold, but yes, um, on top of our team for XP, 1059, which is very nice, thank you very much, and uh, yes, so we fired 25 shots, 
23 of them pen, which is quite nice. 19 of them, pen, uh, 19 of them penetrated, so that was 23 hits, not penetrations. Uh, 19 penetrations, which is quite decent for this gun as well. The uh, penetration is only 175 for the APCR round. Um, that's about that's the same penetration as the 122 on the IS-1 uh, or IS-2 tank, um, which is okay. Um, it's decent enough for a light tank, and, and you can get through the lower plates of a couple other tanks, which um, means you can go frontly if you want to, but I, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's just this tank can't take enough hits or take any hits. As you saw, I was down 100 health after two shots. So, yes. Um, uh, enemy vehicles damaged five, killed two. Very nice. And we did 405 spawning damage. Um, that brought us to a combination of 3200 something. Um, 3240. 3240. Yes, there you go. Um, this this mission's driving me bonkers, and I'm just going mental. This is just how. This is an example of how close I am coming each time. Like I'm I'm usually within 800 damage. It's usually because I can't get enough spotting damage. I can do the main damage, but I just can't. This, the games just don't last long enough, or I'm into it. I get into a spot where I'm far too overconfident. That's my main problem. I get too far too overconfident in my light tanks and get myself killed. So yes. Um, not a, not an amazing game. I just thought it was a, I just thought it was a decent game, and uh, sort of showed you how you can uh, what you can do if you make some mistake early on and just come back from it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed that game. I I enjoy every game of the, the Bulldog. It's just it's just a fun tank to play. I mean, I would definitely recommend one. T thirty seven before it's also a lot of fun as well, and it's a very good tank if you want if you like firing on the move because it's got no bloom. It's literally it's literally just. You fire at things and you hit them. It's 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 well, it's not quite that good, but it is it is a very fun tank and I recommend it. Anyway, um, I've got another replay for you next, which is an M48 pattern, oh, M46 pattern. Sorry, I'm off to go uh, record that and do that for you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>